Hi Scorpio, what's up? This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. If you do need a person reading, that information is going to be down in the description box below. What I see Scorpio here is that there's someone passionate about you, okay? But they're still not ready to open up. There's still this lack of commitment, okay? And that's something that's driving you crazy. We'll see. Uh, you're dealing with someone who's having a very hard time releasing control, for sure, okay? Someone who's hard to patch, someone who's lacking that structure, someone who's always wanting the upper hand in a situation, okay? You could be really wanting this person to give you something stable, something committed, but there's definitely someone here who's, like, not being able to be, um, they're not being able to change the way uh, they think, okay? Could be someone very angry this is arrogance but at the same time this is also a lot of stubbornness okay dealing with a very very stubborn person could be a boss figure in the past i think you gave up on a relationship okay with the five of wands in reverse here it doesn't have to be but this could be a reconciliation or you guys coming back together on the same page or giving up on relationship anything okay we'll clarify but right now with the seven of pentacles here i see you as waiting and watching Quite invested, yes, but still contemplating on whether you want to continue investing into this relationship or not, okay? Because in the past also there's been a lot of drama and this person doesn't seem to budge or this person doesn't seem to be coming um, on the same page as you do. Alright. On your mind is the partnership, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone, you know, who is... Um, probably isolated themselves, ghosted, okay? And they're coming out of isolation and they're wanting to talk to you, they're wanting to build with you. We'll see. What is the Emperor in reverse? Why is this the overall energy for Scorpios? See? Someone's not willing to be in a commitment or not ready to be in a relationship. I'm seeing one person here who's, you know, it's really, really difficult for them to lose their independence. This is someone who's afraid of losing their independence. They're okay on their own. They don't want to be in that. They don't want that tag. They don't want that relationship, okay? Maybe they do love you. They want to be with you. They want to work on this partnership, yeah. But when it comes to that tagging, that relationship, when it comes to that commitment or public commitment, that's when they back off. And that's breaking your heart with the Three of Swords here or you could have separated from this person or broken up because of that. What is the Nine of Pentacles? Very hard to change this person's mind. Very stubborn. What is the Nine of Pentacles? What is the Nine of Pentacles? The Hermit. It wanted to come out desperately. This is putting you in a fix. I feel this person ghosts you every single time. Okay, you want to talk about something committed. Okay, and this gives you a lot of mixed signals. You could be wanting to manifest this person or this person is manifesting you back, okay? But uh, one of you is definitely trying to manifest the other person here. The hermit is the energy of isolation, taking a break, taking a time out, okay? It could also be that the way that you're dealing with someone, okay, who with the emperor in reverse here is very hard to butt, someone who's not being able to release control, a control freak, and you are deciding... You've taken a break from this person and you're deciding to be on your own. Because we already see the five of wands in reverse here. See, so pentacles came out. There's a practical new beginning that you want probably, a commitment. What is the five of wands in reverse in the past? What is the five of wands in reverse in the past? See, that's what I said. There was something that was fated. There was destined. I'm getting this as a reconciliation with the Five of Wands in reverse here. But there was so much confusion here still in the past. What is the Wheel of Fortune? See, that's what I'm saying. You guys could have got together in the past, okay? Probably this person wanted to be with you on the same page. Like, okay, let's work this out. And things were going fine in your favor. This could have been very unexpected. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Literally, like, up on your side. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Is the wheel of fortune that something or someone could have transformed okay we had the hangman there so there was someone who tried to see things from a different perspective or from a different point of view death does not does mean endings but it also means rebirth it means resurrection it means 
um, a transformation, right? So yeah, something transformed in the past year and you guys got back together. Someone was ready to be with you, uh, wanting to build with you. Okay, you guys could be uh, on, on the same play, on the same page, finding balance, okay? This is someone who's wanting to let go of the drama and chaos. Like, let's work things out kind of energy. Why the seven of pentacles right now? Why is this the present energy? Why is this the current energy? Why the seven of pentacles? Yeah, someone's thinking of whether they want to continue investing into a commitment. There is a lot of stability here with the four of wands here, okay? There's a lot of love here too with the queen of pentacles. But someone's re-evaluating the situation, okay? And whatever this is, this has this is a situation around the four of wands, around a marriage or a commitment. What is the four of wands? What's the four of wands? What's the four of wands? Queen of cups. See, this wanted to come out because you love this person. There is a lot of love around this situation. Okay. I'm saying you love them, they love you, but there's one person here who's still thinking about a commitment or still thinking about whether they want to continue moving or whether this is literally going to convert into a marriage or a commitment or into something stable. Someone's trusting their intuition here, okay? The Queen of Cups. Chariot. Yeah, there's a lot of willingness and determination to move forward. What's the seven of cups in reverse in the near future? This is clarity, having a reality check, or things could just be even more confusing. What's the seven of cups in reverse in the near future? Well, I want to copy experience the seven of cups in the near future. Nine of wands, yeah, see? Someone has a reality check. Or someone's just very, very, and someone's very guarded at the same point, okay? I don't see as one person still giving up, there's a lot of perseverance. Like, no, I can still make it happen. That resistance to let this situation go. Not ready to want, not wanting to give things up as yet. Maybe you're waiting for clarity. What is the Nine of Wands? Why the Nine of Wands? Someone's very guarded in the Nine of Wands. Trust issues. What's the Nine of Wands? Yeah, because there's too much conflicts. Either there are too many people that you have to fight out within this relationship. Too many people involved here. And that's creating a lot of drama here. And someone's literally like... Are we ever gonna be get? Are we ever gonna be together or not? Maybe for the reason of love sake. Maybe for love sake, you're ready to fight this off, okay? But it's definitely putting someone in a place where they're like, nah. Uh, you know what? Like, I'm really tired now. Are we still doing this? There is a lot of love here that's holding this relationship strong, or that's holding someone still to be in this um, structured relationship, okay? But in the near future, someone's going to probably have a reality check see things from a more practical point of view because there's a lot of exhaustion here because too many conflicts or again too many people coming in your way too many people influencing each other or just too many battles to fight okay in order for you to get together with the three of pentacles here could be a third party situation could be some third person involved um who is hampering your relationship externally what is the hermit in reverse what's the hermit in reverse There's someone here. This is the hermit in reverse. This is how you see yourself. You're coming out of isolation and wanting to talk. What is the hermit in reverse? You could have ghosted this person, okay? Because we have the hermit in the uh, overall energy. What's the hermit in reverse? Yeah, see, you're coming out of isolation and wanting to talk. You're wanting to move forward with the six of pentacles. Here. You're wanting this equal give and take. You're wanting a balance in this relationship. And you want communication, like fast-paced communication. Could be living at a distance from this person, okay? But this is a lot of online communication, a lot of communication back and forth. Things moving at lightning speed. So I think someone's taking a break wanting to think about the situation, wanting to contemplate. And I think this person's wanting to go ahead, okay? Maybe this is someone who's very determined to move things forward, okay? And they want to balance out the situation. This is someone who's wanting to... This is you wanting to give the other person what they deserve or giving the person... Um, restoring balance within the situation, you know, like... Um, putting in that reciprocity. There is this reciprocity um, from your side. What is the Eight of Wands? But yeah, you want things to move quick after this period of break that you've taken from this person. 
maybe someone needed time to think okay and someone was very indecisive because someone had to choose whether they wanted to continue being single or whether they wanted to be in a relationship in a committed relationship and whoever this person is who was on a break right this person was someone who was a control freak right they couldn't let go of um that control issue someone very stubborn like i said what's the eight of wands what is the eight of wands see strength here someone is going to put in that all this is the willingness and determination the belief that that um strength inner strength that a breaking that bold moves you know like trying to tame the situation but something or someone out here is going to put in that all this is you scorpio you could flip the sides but putting in that 100% to make this shit happen and whatever's going to happen it's going to happen after a break or after this period of no communication or after you guys are going to be um you know after someone goes you keep that in mind but yeah with the star here there's a wish coming true this could be someone who's healed and coming back towards you okay but yeah there is a wish that's coming true this is a very destined very fated connection what is the knight of wands in the environment for scorpio that they don't see coming what is this knight of wands Ace of Cups, see? You both have this on your side. You two want forward moment and they want love. They want a brand new beginning with you with Ace of Cups here. Someone's coming in with the Page of Pentacles. This is someone who's wanting to convince you to work with them together, okay? You guys are on the same page, like seriously. I'm, very, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out what the Knight of Cups in reverse is. Well, that could be anything. Jealousy, moody, in and out, whatever, right? But yeah, with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups, this person's super passionate about you. They want this brand new beginning in love. They're ready to open up emotionally. If they were shut down in the past year, they're ready to express themselves, okay? What is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? The Sun. Wow, damn. Your happily ever after is coming in, Scorpio. It's coming in. This is someone who wants their, you're like their end all be all. This is like that ultimate um, happiness, that wish fulfillment. This person is not looking at you as the nine of cups, which is like a little smug energy. Like, oh, you're like their wish fulfillment. But they're looking at you as like someone they want commitment with. They want marriage. They want um, the kids. They want the family, everything. Because with the sun, yeah, this person uh, sees you as their happiness. There's a lot of illumination. Maybe this person has got illuminated to some fact. Whatever was hidden has come out in the open. But there's some truth that has been revealed to this person. And they're coming in. Queen of Wands, this is how they see you. They're ready to take action. But they see you as someone who's in, in their power, you know. They see you as the shit. What is the Three of Pentacles? You want this partnership too. What is the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, not only we want partnership, but you also want a balanced relationship. You want equal give and take with the justice here. You want marriage. You want commitment, something legal. Or this is just you wanting to make things right. You're wanting to rectify a situation. Or this is just you just feel that things were not fair in the past and you want something to be fair, okay? You want to get what you deserve. What is the Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you want to build like a future with this person but four of cups here i guess there is some kind of either you have fear of rejection or you're just not sure of whether you're going to get this from this person or not probably you already know that this person is a little uh a wishy-washy a little in and out someone who's a little moody um someone who's probably very scared to open up or wanting to be vulnerable they do want the ace of cups with you right but um we'll see the four of cups is a little bit of um this could also be you who's still holding on to the past is what i'm getting okay with the four of cups like holding on to the disappointment holding on to things that didn't work out with this person whereas you don't see that one cup that that, that that one opportunity that's still there you're still crying over what didn't work out in the past investing your energy and um putting in your um you know, this is a very low vibrational card, basically. But I get that this is what you want in your emotions. This is your hopes. But your fear is that what if things don't work out? What if things turn out to be the same way that it did in the past? But you're not open to this another opportunity, not open to this new opportunity, or not open to a reconciliation, anything. Maybe there's someone here who's wanted to give you an offer, but you're in this hangman position, okay? You're just not doing anything about it. Thinking a lot about it, but not doing anything. Stagnation. 
You're just stuck in your head. You're stuck in the thoughts. Again, very focused on what didn't work out rather than focusing on the present. You're not living in the present moment right now in your emotions. You're more living in the past. Maybe this person disappointed you and you're probably still thinking about whether it's going to work out with this person or not. Maybe things are moving forward. They're working out perfectly, but it's probably your thoughts which is keeping you in that position. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person's a little hesitant on opening up or wanting to commit. What is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? Procrastination is what I'm hearing. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? The lovers, you may have to make a choice between two people, okay? With the lovers here. Five of Pentacles, you may have to leave out someone. Scorpio, I'm not getting this so much as the other person. I'm getting you because what they're bringing in, they're bringing in the Sun, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. They're, oh yeah, they're passionate about you. You're the one who I feel is a little hesitant or procrastinating on whether you want this offer or not. See, because you're the one in your emotions who is um, a little wishy-washy, contemplating an offer, okay? Maybe this person's coming in, they're giving you this offer, like, yeah, no, let's do this. You're the one right now who's not sure i think with the lovers you may have to make a very significant life-changing decision or you may have to choose between two people okay what's the lovers and that's why you're procrastinating or something could be a missed opportunity because you had to make a choice and you didn't choose for the four of pentacles shut off what is the lovers say king of cups there's so much love here you may have to choose between two people okay you may love this person to the moon and back, okay? But you're probably suppressing your feelings or you're just trying to make a very balanced decision here. But there's someone here in your environment with the Queen of Swords here. This person is giving you an ultimatum, okay? There is an ultimatum and you're going to have to make a decision very, very soon. I'm also getting here with the Three of Pentacles, which is could be a third party situation. And with the Six of Pentacles, you could be giving to two people. Again, I'm getting a lot of choices. Someone needs to make a choice. I'm literally getting like you're getting what you want now, Scorpio. It's up to you of whether, I mean, it's up to you now. It's up to you. It's like a wish that has come true. I don't see the Nine of Cups, but I feel it. There is someone here who loves you a lot, okay? This person's like literally very mature, a very compassionate partner. You need to make a choice because you're being shut off here. And there's one person here who's very hesitant on taking this offer. Could be you, could be them. You can flip the sides. But there is a lot of love here. A lot of love. Because look at the strength here, right? With the Hermit in reverse and the Eight of Wands, I feel you're coming out of that isolation mode. You're done thinking. You're coming out. You want to move forward, right? And probably for the strength here, you are resisting and trying to hold on to something or holding back from something. Because Four of Cups is also that similar kind of energy. I feel you need to make a choice because, yeah, with the Lovers here and the King of Cups here, you need to make a choice. There's someone here who loves you, who wants you, okay? This is someone who's very intuitive at the same time. Very mature person. Or you, this is, this could be you and you're probably dealing with someone who's still a little wishy-washy non-committal. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.